Hello YouTube, Sweet Tips here, otherwise known as KA Driver, otherwise known as Bathless on my YouTube or on my eBay channel. I wish I'd have picked the name that would fit on all three, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'd like, I made a uh, modification to my fuel hood here, and I'd just like to uh, show what I did. Uh, what I had was uh, the motor burn out on it a while back, and I had to replace the motor. And I had this light installed in the uh, top of the uh, fume hood and you can see here from being in the acidic fumes it started to exfoliate I think it was m aluminum with some uh, enamel paint on it but I couldn't even get it off of the threads there to change out the light bulb I've been without a light for so long but uh, you can see here how the metal was flaking and falling apart it was falling down into my work so what I did is I uh, modified the fume hood to uh, accommodate an LED light and I'm going to show you how I did that I'm going to go ahead and point the camera at the modification inside the fume hood here. It's inside. And as you can see up there, I went ahead and uh, cut some rough holes in the, uh, in the fiberglass. And then I took a uh, saw and sawed a uh, chunk of the uh, fiberglass out. And then I glued a uh, piece of uh, a plexiglass up there. And then I wired in a, uh, an LED uh, strip so that I have plenty of light in my fume hood. I don't know if you can see there, uh, that round circle on the end is where the old light was that was dropping the stuff on my work. I just went ahead and I had to cut the bolts from the other side and uh, pull them through because the, uh, the bolts to take the light off were inside the dome or inside the globe and I couldn't get the ring off to remove the globe to get to the, uh, the fasteners that was holding that light in place on the ceiling here. Now I'm going to show you uh, the modification from the top view on top of the fume hood there. What I'm going to do is go ahead and take this, uh, this cover down. And just show you here what I got. I've got it wired to the switch. So I can hit the switch and the light goes out. It's just an LED strip that I bought at Ace Hardware. I know I sound like an am I'm an advertisement for Ace, but they got a lot of good stuff and they're real close to my house. so. It might cost a few pennies more for their products, but uh, they're convenient and close by. Anyway, what I've got here is the uh, piece of plexiglass. Uh, I used a, uh, a whole tube of uh, silicon caulking to uh, make a nice bead around the hole that I'd cut. I used a drill bit to get in there. You can see the little holes that I made to cut the fiberglass. And then I stuck a saw in between and just uh, a hacksaw and it cut through very easily. Alright, this LED strip that I had, uh, they said it was, I, I don't know what the lumens was on it, but it was real bright and it is bright. I have a lot more heat in there now, or a lot more light inside of my fume hood now. And I just kind of laid across the, uh, the top of the hole that I made here with the piece of plexiglass and like I said, I uh, wired it so that the switch powers the light. It was an easy installation, took less than an hour. So now I'm back in business with my fume hood. I've got a light installed, it's nice and bright. I like to work up real nice. And I got a brand new motor. I bought the motor at uh, Granger, I think it was $109, and it works just perfect. So I'm back in business with a fume hood. Thanks for watching.